make the best of it. It's our last week with you guys online. Not to fear though, our videos from the past few years will stay on the STF Kids YouTube channel. So if you want to rewatch some of our awesome episodes, you'll find all of those on our YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> our last week online, we're actually learning about Barnabas and how he went to Antioch to encourage all believers and hopefully this will encourage all of you as well. All right, kids, <laughs> let's get started. All right, kids, this week the Bible story is about Barnabas in Antioch. This story shows how Barnabas was an encouragement to all believers. The word of the Lord was spreading, so Barnabas was sent to Antioch to share the good news. Before we watch our Bible story video, I wanted to mention how much these online videos have meant to us as a team. We have been encouraged by the kids who've watched and supported, and also getting the privilege to give all of you watching a Sunday school lesson at home. You have all made these videos so worthwhile and we're sad to see them go. For our final video, we wanted to make up a short honorable mentions video and share it. So again, thank you. And stay tuned for our favorite parts of Sunday School Online. that works. Now let me tell you, I tested and I tested and I tested and well, um, unfortunately my bucket's not big enough and it's about to overflow all over the table. I did not test it enough, I don't think. God is so good. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Hungry, hungry hippo. Hungry, hungry hippo. Hungry, hungry hippo. How this famine in Egypt has got this hippo hungry. Well, good morning, kids. I'm Baker Betty. And I'm Cake Making Karen. And I have a challenge for you today, Cake Making Karen. It's a challenge, a bit of a test. Are you good at tests? Nah. No. Not really. No, 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 not that kind of test. I mean, like, to test your abilities, your skills of cake making. I love cake. I'm cake making Karen. That's what I do. I also really love cake. See the coin there? Yeah. Wash my hand. I'm going to tap my hand three times with this pen and the coin is going to disappear. Are you ready? Okay. The, the pen disappeared, but the coin didn't. Did you see that? didn't make it van anyways <laughs> let's try it again okay are you ready one two three oh, it worked without the spirit bad choices with the spirit we make the good choice You teach the gun. It's 
It's a masterpiece. <laughs> Coco the Clown. That's awkward. Uh, what is Coco the Clown gonna do for entertainment? Uh, let me check my bag. Surely I've got something in here. Eh, trumpet? Nah. Toilet plunger? No. Mm, tin foil. Puppet? Eh, no. Whistle? Spoon? What am I gonna do with these? Oh, I know. String! Um, it means that you be nice to other people, or you can play with other people. Kindness is when you do something nice to people and use your manners. It's a beautiful thing. What is it? Uh, you share and you sharing is caring and you share the video that you do. Kindness means to me is when you help people who are in need and you help people who are lonely and you give people compliments. Ah, uh, you just be nice. Kindness is being helpful to other people and being nice to other people and making them feel good. Kindness means Help other people and do stuff when they're sad. God had called Peter to tell everyone the good news about Jesus, no matter who they were or where they came from. So Peter shared the gospel not only with Jews, but with Gentiles. The Gentiles in Caesarea heard Peter's message and believed. God gave his Holy Spirit to these new believers and they were baptized. Before long, the apostles and other believers throughout Judea heard the Gentiles had believed the good news about Jesus. They were surprised. So Peter shared about the vision God had given to him of the sheet of clean and unclean animals and his encounter with Cornelius. Peter explained that the gospel is for all people. Then the believers praised God and understood that Jesus had come for the Gentiles too. At the same time, believers who scattered after Stephen's murder had traveled to places like Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch of Syria. In those places, the believers only shared the gospel with the Jews. But some believers from Cyprus and Cyrene went to Antioch and preached the gospel to the Greeks too. God was with them, and a large number of the Greeks believed the good news. The church at Jerusalem heard about these new believers, so they sent Barnabas to Antioch. Barnabas was a good man. He loved God and was full of faith and the power of the Holy Spirit. When Barnabas arrived, he saw that God was gracious to these believers. He was glad and encouraged them to keep following God. Even more people trusted in Jesus. Then Barnabas left Antioch and went to Tarsus to look for Paul. Mm. He found Paul and brought him back to Antioch. They stayed with the church in Antioch for a year, teaching large groups of people. Jesus' followers were first called Christians at Antioch. Even though some people tried to stop it, the gospel spread throughout the earth, not only to Jews, but also to Gentiles. The good news about Jesus is for everyone. God calls us to celebrate when others believe and help them know and love Jesus more. Kids, 
So for this week's memory verse game, we're gonna mix it up a little. We're gonna be using shaving cream and Cheetos. Super easy, you can try it at home. You will need a shower cap if you don't want shaving cream in your hair, although. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put shaving cream on top of Jovi's shower cap, and I'm gonna throw Cheetos at it for 30 seconds, and however many Cheetos I can get to stick in that 30 seconds is how many words we will take out of the verse. Now, we're gonna do this, I'm gonna say twice, and each time I guess I'll have to take the Cheetos out. And we'll take new words out of the verse. So, are we ready? Awesome. Can you hold these while I put this on your head? Yep. I'll bend down because you're just little. Perfect. Okay, I feel like that's probably, maybe you want some oh. more over there. Yeah. Wow, it really grows. Oh wait, uh, I'll get you to hold that. No, 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 don't touch. Okay. okay. Start the 30 second timer, Jovi. Oh, these look so good, I wanna eat one. And go. Ow, that kinda hurt a little. I mean, I have cheesy dust all over my. Oh, there's one. I'm not very far away, so this isn't that hard. What if I move? Yeah, moving <laughs> target. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh. Ah! Ow. I'm cheesy in my fingers. Wow, I'm actually really bad at this. Oh. Oh, I gotta get two there. Got two. <laughs> okay, bend down so I can see how many. One, two, three, four. Awesome, we're gonna take four words out of the verse. Read it with me now. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice, and let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. First Chronicles 16, 31. Awesome, kids. So we're gonna do one more round of this. I'm not gonna take the cheesies out of the cap. We're just gonna add on to the cheesies in the cap because I assumed I was gonna get more, but apparently my aim isn't as good as I thought. <laughs> Let's try it again. Start the timer, Joby. Go. <laughs> there was oh, two I'll start more. Again. I forgot that was supposed to move. <laughs> Stuck. Oh, that one didn't. Oh no! Toby's gonna need a new sweater to put on. Ah, two more! Seven seconds. Okay. Seven seconds. Nope, five, four, three. Ah! <laughs> okay, bend down so I can see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine on there, so there will be nine words taken out of the verse. Read it with me now. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice, and let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. First Chronicles 16, 31. Awesome, kids, that was super fun. Easy to try at home, just get your parents to get you some of the ingredients to try this activity. Right now, I want you to grab your Bibles and then meet back here so that we can read our verse for this week. Now that we all have our Bibles, let's turn to 1 Chronicles 16, 23 and 24 and read it. Sing to the Lord, all the world. Proclaim every day the good news that he has saved us. Proclaim his glory to the nations, his mighty deed to all the people. God offers salvation through Jesus. As believers, we are to tell others this good news and point them to the Lord. We can tell of his glory and works at home and around the world. Let's praise and sing to the Lord, the God of our salvation. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining.
Lord reigns. This is good news to believers all over the world because it reminds us that the Lord is in control of everything. We can encourage fellow believers with this truth when they face hardship and discouragement. We see in the book of Acts that God used the persecution of believers to grow and spread the church throughout the world. Nothing surprises God and he can use any situation for his glory. That's right. Now let's pray kids. Lord God, thank you for providing a way for us to be saved by sending your son to take the punishment for our sins. Thank you that this salvation is available to everyone who trusts in Jesus. Help us know and love you more as we grow in our relationship with you. May we glorify you with our lives. We love you, Lord. Amen. Kids, we have had so much fun making these online videos for you and we are so sad to see them go. But they will be on YouTube so you can check them out there. We just wanted to say thank you and goodbye. Bye kids!